Hello, I'm Anthony, a solutions engineer at Software AG, specializing in data integration. Today, we'll be looking at how we can help companies deliver insight, helping them navigate through their data to deliver value. Before we jump into our solution today, let's take a moment to consider the problems enterprise customers are experiencing when it comes to their data integration. Businesses need more, they need it faster, and many ways to obtain data require too much effort from an already stretched internal IT team. The data points required are fragmented with various databases, data feeds, such as APIs, all managed and integrated in slightly different ways and in different formats. And as businesses are constantly evolving, so is their data. The data starts changing shape, which causes most engineering teams to be spending 60% of their time fixing existing pipelines rather than getting on and building new work that could be delivering value for your shareholders and your customers. Let's have a look at an example of an enterprise customer, Green Lake Banking Solutions. They are a bank who wishes to make data-driven decisions based on their customers' transactions and habits. GreenLake have most of their data based on premises in Oracle. It has some static data from legacy applications, along with live transaction data, which they want to bring to the cloud so they can produce reports in Power BI. A Power BI instance reads directly from Snowflake. We have to consider that just loading data from Oracle to Snowflake won't be enough. We will need to do some transformations to that data to process it from raw exports into a format ready for analysis. Using stream sets, we can approach this in three steps. One, we're going to copy all of our milestone of static data into Snowflake. Two, we will stream the changes using a method called change data capture, which will relay all new transactions or changes to the Oracle data directly into Snowflake. And three, we'll transform those data points into a data product that will be used for insights and reporting. Let's jump into the platform. From here, we can see a topology where you can see everything on here is actually interactable with. And let's click on one of these rectangles, which are a jump into our jobs. And here we're looking at an initial data load. What you may not necessarily spot from this pipeline is that it's gathering data from many tables in the database. So with this one pipeline, we can bring in all the tables that match a pattern without actually having to configure each one individually. We then go on to enrich the data to meet our client's requirements, which they've requested that there is a change operation type column for later use, and also the time the record was produced. And then we're committing this data to Snowflake. We are mirroring the names we gathered from Oracle, the table names, which will create those tables if they don't already exist. And if we're using our data drift function, we're also able to transpose any structure changes from Oracle to Snowflake too. Navigating back to our topology, let's have a look at our change data capture pipeline. Again, we take the approach of using patterns. So all the data that's changing that matches that pattern will be mirrored across using this pipeline. We can customize this capture for any uh, record event or just focus maybe on inserts. We have a central connections catalog which greatly reduces the maintenance in the event of, let's say, the server path changing. As we can see, this pipeline is actually running. So we can be sure of the success of the records going in or the records going out. We can look at this ring chart to see how much time each process within the pipeline is taking. We can go back and fine tune that to enhance performance. Finally, how would we bring this all together to produce a data feed suitable for the customer dashboard GreenLake are after? We'll take what would normally be a large, complex SQL statement, which isn't particularly easy to read, into actually a flow of processes. So we start with tables. We can navigate through Snowflake for our tables. We can select the whole table or perhaps just a few fields from that table and clearly demonstrate what filter conditions being used when bringing that data in. We can start doing processes such as unions, which traditionally are painful. You've got to go through and start padding fields out that aren't there, doing really complicated joins um, to work out if intersections and logics work. It's things that normally take you minutes or hours. It's down to two drop-down menus in seconds. 
Again, our approach makes things much more plain text and explorable. Here we're doing an aggregation. It's all really clear what fields are being used. We can explore the data set and see what data uh, columns are there available to be used. An interesting thing to note in our pipeline is we're actually creating three tables. Traditionally, one SQL script would mean one table. But here we are making three tables with three different views. The bottom one there is feeding our dashboard. We're removing some information before we send that to the table because we don't want that displayed. And the other two there are split between our priority customer data and not priority customer data. Now we have that data going into Snowflake, let's have a look and see what it looks like in Power BI. And here's our Power BI dashboard, displaying the data we've created in Snowflake. 